YouTube. Hope everybody's well. Oh, I'm a little fro frozen. I got to go out yet and get some wood in and do a couple things outside. It is like um, probably 40 degrees, but with the wind chill, it's freezing. So, um, yeah. And then our uh, big lake here in Minnesota, Lake Superior, it had uh, 27 foot waves the other day. One of my favorite places on the lake, Canal Park, it's probably going to be washing away because this one place that um is like you can go and eat and there's a, a bar upstairs or a restaurant downstairs, a bar upstairs, and then a balcony that I used to like to go out on. Um, that isn't even 27 foot high, so... Yeah, the people that live out there, they're not even allowed to go out on their to their houses right now. So, and with the leaves falling um, from all the trees, they're blocking up all the drainage and everything around the roads, and it's just crazy. So, yeah, I've been thinking about that today, and then been thinking about um, the no curve on the earth, and um out of habit sometimes I'll say globe but you know the weirdest thing it was about oh uh two and a half years ago now I went to Texas um flew down there and uh on the way up in the air and it was a clear day I didn't see a thing no landscape nothing which was odd because I've flown before and I've always saw something, you know, out the window. And the same with on the way back. Well, I mean, even like when I got into Houston, um, it was foggy and I was thinking, well, that's the Gulf and you go over the bayou and everything, you know, so that's has a tendency to be cloudy and so do we, but um, there wasn't any clouds and I still could not see any land. On the way back to Minnesota, um, there was some clouds, but I couldn't see the lakes and I, you know, which I normally, which I have before I've flown and I was flying in from Georgia one time and I saw the lakes on a similar type of day. So that was just kind of a weird observation. Um, on flight that I been thinking about ever since it happened you know it's like that was really weird because when we came back over the state I was looking for like uh because we had to make like a 600 mile loop um to get back to the international airport which would have brought me over our land so I was going to look to see wow could I see the lake or and and it's kind of a small lake but I mean there's a gazillion lakes and I didn't see any I could not see anything which was really weird so and that was like two and a half years ago versus when say when I was 15 and I came from Georgia on the plane um I could see lakes and trees and different things outside the window um you know so that's just, I mean, I've been up in a lot of planes, but those were just like two incidences on on the same basic flight pattern um, that would have brought me over northern Minnesota and I couldn't see any of the lakes this time. So that was weird. So... Mm. And I was thinking, and I have been thinking a lot about Syria because with the Sumerian languages and stuff and people not going back to Aramaic, that would be a good reason, not just the oil, because we have plenty of oil all the way from where I live all the way west and south and up into Canada, and it's just full of oil. But there would be another reason to get rid of the Syrians. There's different villages with different dialects, and perhaps their Aramaic dialect tells the truth about the Bible, truth about the real scriptures, 
that they don't want these people getting out. They don't want uh, anybody able to translate any of that. Which comes to a word that um, uh, either uberistic or huberistic, I was thinking, just making this title that. I might anyway. And it means highly agorant. But um, I'm sure, and that said it stemmed from Greek. But I'm sure with the uber part, that would even go back um, probably in a Syrian language. And it probably means something else because that's how they'll change things like that. So I, didn't, I just had some of these different things on my mind like that. And um, thought I'd get on here a little earlier before I got some work done. And... Um, did a little bit this morning, got a little more to do, and so, yeah. Oh, let me see. Anything new? Oh, you know, I know the feeling of, um, you know, hanging in there with good vibes and stuff, but on a continual basis, day after day, that is like almost inhuman, you know? <laughs> Um, and to express your disappointment or anger in people or something, that's, that's a, a human reaction. That doesn't make anybody a bad person because I'm going to say, hey, you treated me like crap and this is what's up there. You know, they're trying to make it so what? You can't say anything? You know. Oh, and then I was thinking about, I see, oh, people with the name Butterfly, Dragonfly, and the Satanistic ties to all that, and um, even somebody with the name Cupcake. You should look up that word, the two separate meanings of it, way back in Aramaic, and eating of yourself, you probably wouldn't want to call yourself cupcake, <laughs> you know. So, anyway, just a few things there that were on my mind. And, um, oh, let's see, anything else right now? Oh, yeah, we got snow last night. I couldn't believe it. That's, um, I was saying it, it snowed like, um, 80 miles away the day before, but, I was really surprised. Um, my dog woke me up a little after five and she wanted to go out. And I thought, what? Because usually she's about a seven o'clock in the morning girl. So um, I opened the door. There was snow. Her big ears, she must have heard it snowing out there. And she always likes to go out and play in the snow, which is just um, strange because she doesn't like the rain she hates it even her little feet getting wet but yet she'll go out in frozen cold snow i was telling you about that before i just don't get that but <laughs> i guess that's just her she's silly like that but i think all little creatures like to play in the snow <laughs> you know i used to just love it love it I would spend almost as much time in the winter outside as I did in the summer. So, yeah, you know, spent a lot of lot of my hours outside, even in a lot of my work things that I did um, was a lot out outdoor hours. So, and it does get hard. It can be difficult. Neither freezing or roasting where your skin feels like it's peeling off your body, you know. There's really no um, protection. I mean, you can put sunscreen on, but it doesn't really help if you're really out there and if you're working up a sweat or whatever, you know, it comes off. And you burn, <laughs> or, you know, your skin feels. I don't really burn, burn, but my skin will feel affected from it, you know, so. Yeah. So 
I actually get, have pretty dark skin, but it just depends on what I'm wearing. And yeah, this light too, <laughs> how I'm going to appear. So <laughs> yeah, it's changing on and off, on and off. But yeah. So anyway, yeah, Goofy Dog woke me up. I let her out and then I did lay back down, but it was hard to get back to sleep then because then I'm thinking all oh, things that I still have to do before um, super winter hits the deep, dark depths of winter, you know. So, yeah. So, I think a friend of mine is not feeling well and he's not saying anything, so I wish you the best. Um, that I might apply to more than one, you know. But, yeah. So I'm still going to do some more studying on the word hubristic. Um, it is highly agorant. Yeah, also, but it also means a group and a gathering. And I got to dig further back into that. So that was interesting. Um, every so often I'll hear a word or remember a word and go back up into it. It's like, hmm. Like God directs me in different ways for a certain reason. Maybe some of you will get something out of it. I don't know, but there must be a reason. Always seems to be, you know. So. But like I said, being in a bad mood or expressing your anger towards somebody, that doesn't make you a bad person. You know, now if you physically do something about it, that would, you know, but, you know, like flipping somebody the bird or something because they're getting on your last nerve, you know, yeah. I don't think that's a crime against humanity. It's not even a crime against the person that was doing a crime to you. It's just a natural reaction, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. Oh, well, I suppose I'll go out and I'll get some wood in. I have to put a tank heater in my horse's water too. I got to plug that in, and so I'm gonna bundle up and go out there and do this stuff and um, upload this. Maybe I'll find more to talk about when I get back. So. I'll say um, good evening, good day, um, wherever you're at. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. See y'all later. Thanks for being here.